Hello everyone. My goodness. Where do I begin? Where do we begin? So it says it's been 12 days since my last video and honestly, <laughs> time is just loopy now. Um, yeah, I just, I know others are feeling this as well. And if you're not, remember it's our own unique journey that's the number one thing is to never compare yourself, never to look outside yourself for confirmation, for clarity. Yes, external information can assist us, but if it makes you feel bad, if it makes you feel not good enough or something's wrong with you or you're being left behind or you're not experiencing what's being talked about, you know, please take a breath and know that whatever you are going through, whatever you are experiencing is perfect, is truly perfect for you. Even the hardest, most heartbreaking, backbreaking, soul-breaking times, you know, it goes back to isness. So this card, ironically, is a sympathy card for death and passing. I was so drawn to it because of the beautiful tree of life and there's some sparklies in the tree which you, might, you can sort of see in one of them. It's a bit of a glum day here today and it's all perfect. And then I added a bunch of stickers to it but I wanted to share that right now feeling a great collective and planetary theme of death. And I'm experiencing this um, my own experience as well. And this has been ongoing for quite some time for me and others. This death and rebirth, death and rebirth, death and rebirth. And it takes breaks. It's been predominantly this year. This year has been beyond words. If you're on this path, you know it's you know, beyond transformational, it's transfiguring, it's a complete and total change from everything that was and all that we used to be. So this death portal that we've been in for some time, this past week, at least for me, really propped up and accelerated. And I know there's others experiencing this, but again, we're on our own unique perfect individual journey always remind yourself that when you don't feel good and you're looking at any outside information in any way shape or form take a breath hand on heart let's do it now <sighs> and just come back home I am perfect in this moment Everything is perfect in this moment because in that presence, that reconnection with soul self, with all of you that you truly are, not just the human, which is an incredible part of our entire full being that goes through the worst, the hardest, the mastery initiations, the tests all of it, but also experiences deep joy, profound love, and gratitude. It's very extreme here, and some of us have an extreme soul signature, so that's multiplied exponentially. <sighs> but yes, we are in a death portal. All the old must go. All the identities, the stories, the programming, the beliefs, opinions, judgments, especially about ourself, because all begins within, all creation is inside out. Remember, this is an inside job. So this week has been quantum in multitude of ways, beautiful, beautiful feeling for myself childlike free wonder and just extreme joy in nature and then experiencing the opposite 
and the deep grief of collective and planetary pain and suffering, feeling tired of how much all of us have endured and continue to go through. It's been massive mastery initiations. I felt that myself and then see others sharing that. But my own soul gnosis tells me, even though it's beyond brutal at times, and really you feel like giving up, that it does pass. And no amount of wisdom or words in that moment, you know, means anything. The fact that this is all an illusion and not real doesn't mean shit when you're in it. Because we're here to feel, man. The soul doesn't feel. The soul doesn't have emotions. So we are an extension. And we are soul. In the bravest, most incredible way. Because we chose to come into this dark, dense playground and learning planet. School, some call it. And to forget our soul connection and the fullness of all that we are as a powerful being of pure love light and creation and creator. Ah, in order to play here and expand, for the soul to expand. So it is not easy. We all know that. And at times it is so glorious. And we are learning to balance. We are clearing so much old. Dying and dying and dying. To make space for the new and the true. What we really are to return. Which it is. So no matter what. Be kind and gentle. Know that we are in a collective and individual death portal. Because that's the metamorphosis. Think of the dragonfly, the butterfly, the caterpillar, the moth, the winged ones that shed their skin, the snake, the crabs that shed their old shells. And that is the death of all that we think we are. Anything related to self-importance and self-attachment, including family members, partnerships, etc., where we have attachment, is going to be shooken up, shaken up, loosened. And that's what I experienced just in general Nothing specific for my own experience, but man, I got shook up, (laughs) got my ass kicked for the old me to die. It's a reset. It's a renewal. It's a new beginning. And that's what this equinox coming up is all about. We're already in it. The gateway's open. And we've just been really going through it this year. Every month has been stronger than the last. And since August, it's just gone. (laughs) Steroids, it's gone crazy. And, you know, the feeling is this acceleration is just going to continue to multiply. So just let go of the wheel, man. Let go of everything and stop fighting. But feel, feel fully the grief, the pain. I felt a lot of grief. I felt soul betrayal. I felt misled, misguided. This was all supposed to end some time ago, but it keeps going. And honestly, after really going deep into that feeling, because I had no choice, and there may be more, when it comes, it will come. I feel better. I feel lighter. I feel born again into this lighter way without the heaviness because I had to grieve and I had to really feel that pain 
breathe it in and feel the anger and the resentment and the betrayal. And these are some of the big themes we're clearing collectively and planetary as well for those, again, who are forerunners on the front line. Not everyone is. So just to know that even though it may feel like you're going backwards, it's a lot of this journey. It's all serves. It really does. Every breakdown is the breakthrough. The wound is where the light comes in. And to keep breaking our heart until it opens fully, as Rumi says. Because when nothing can break your heart anymore, because it's broken wide open from all the previous heartbreaks, whatever they are, then you're free. And that's what we're here for is freedom. Freedom to simply be like a child, but even better. No programming, no rules. Divine innocence return that which was taken from us as part of the design. Because my own perspective, even when it hurts like hell, and I don't feel that big picture in the depth of the pain that's moving through me and that I'm experiencing as a highly sensitive empath who carries much. As by soul, divine, perfect design. You never get more than you can handle and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Those are true. But even in those moments, there is a perfection and there's a deep releasing and healing that occurs when we are in the deepest depths of that agony and pain. I know that, even though I don't like it <laughs> and I will still resist. I also know it's all perfect once I'm out of it and through it. I just have to let it be. I just have to let it happen. There's no speeding it up. This isn't a race. You're not trying to get to the end. <laughs> oh, I laugh because, you know, these words really embody now. They couldn't for decades because it wasn't time. But I didn't know that as the human. I kept trying. I kept killing myself. Trying to understand, trying to get it, trying to get there, right? There's nowhere to go, man. There's nothing to get. You're already there. You're already it. It's right here. It's you. It's you, beautiful one. So just know whatever's happening, it's perfect. And if it hurts and you want to scream, do whatever you need to do to feel. And do not gaslight yourself. Do not beat yourself up. If you do, stop. Break those old patterns. And if you can't, that's okay too. Remember, the ultimate freedom is full, total, radical acceptance of self and of life as it is. That means I just come to the feeling eventually, after maybe crying and screaming and feeling sorry for myself or feeling I want out of here, or whatever it may be that each one goes through, it is again individual and unique that I return to this place of knowing. And knowing that the other side is always better because you're lighter because of all that you've released. But also being present, being right here, always reminding myself all is well, all is well. I am here now, hand on heart, breathing. I am here now. Om, sweet Om. Knowing we are doing each one of us the best that we can, and this is all about me. Yes, there's outside things occurring, but as I change myself, as I calm myself, as I return home to myself, as I reconnect to myself within, as I ground into myself, I shift my own creality and I'll receive more clarity 
about situations, the beings in my life, the issues. And this isn't to say you're going to get a plan or perfect answers. No, it doesn't work that way. Remember, we're here to flow in the mystery of life, to let go, to surrender. Mastering surrender is the key for me to freedom. That means not knowing. That means constantly letting go, not having attachment. And that's not easy. That's our work. That's why these mastery initiations are occurring. So please hang in there. But whatever happens is perfect. Let's say, for example, someone does check out because it's too much. Honestly, there's no mistakes. There's no coincidences. It's all by design. There is openings for shifts within the design that are built in already because there are infinite possibilities and timelines within each one's design. But only your soul knows what that is. And it's always communicating to see what serves best for the human and for all involved. So even when someone exits, it's because it's determined at the soul level, it will facilitate an expansion of all that are affected by the exit. Because just know when a being leaves here, their physicality, they are in peace. The descriptions, multiple NDs, near-death experiences are, it's like we're bound in heavy shackles here. And the moment we leave the physical body, there's this complete lightness, freedom, beyond unconditional love, pure source love. There's such beauty and colors and tones and soul songs, music and all kinds of things. There's so much light of being, not the heavy survival, fears, worries, betrayals, angers, all that we experience here on this extremely expansive emotional experiential experiment of separation the grand experiment from source from ourself from everything so that we could play in the deepest darkest realms but we're wrapping all that up now this experiment is done it is ending it is over so know that we have to clear it all up it's a lot but we're meant to be here for here and we're really really strong and I don't just say that to be nice or to pump you up <laughs> it's damn well true it's beyond true the human is the hero and the shiro of all this we're getting closer guys we're getting closer but we have to let go of attachment or we're not free we have to be present here in this moment, breathing deep and slow until there's no thoughts. We're empty. We're just in the void. Ah, total peace. And if you can't get there, it's okay too. You will eventually with practice. It's easier than ever now with so many veils gone and just the support. There's so much support. Gaia shows me the winged ones all the time, every day, and in my toughest moments they appear. The group of geese singing, flying right overhead. Eagles calling out or showing up. Stellar jays have been showing up constantly for the past couple of weeks, and it's not common. And when I looked it up, just to share, it's all about self-connection, self-transformation, inner connection. Know thy true soul self. That's what we're here for, is to truly know thyself. We're talking the big me, all of me. The human connecting to the soul. Returning to one, within first. The unity that then will be reflected out. 
in divine time. Ah, so take good care, rest, lots of rest. And in my previous videos, when I talked about <clears throat> not being able to go to nature, I meant to clarify that that is because I had to rest. <laughs> and that was hard, but I was so tired, I had to rest. And I want to tell you, more breakthroughs came freedom because if you got to run away to nature well that's another program you got to run away to feel better if you got to get outside everybody talks about getting outside grounding doing this that but you know what the ultimate freedom is just to be where you are as you are breathe in breathe into the heart constant open deep slow breathe so big that you break all those pain patterns in that moment. And you finally, after breathing, it might take a while, feel fine, feel okay, feel safe, just as you are where you are. That is the ultimate freedom because you're already it. You're everything here. You're all of it. You're the mountains, you're the sky, you're nature. You're the good guys, you're the bad guys. You're all of it. There is no separation. And we're working through to reconnect, to unify, to experience that no separation and that purity, that pure heart love, pure heart integrity of being that which we truly are, our true pure essence, because we are God, God perfection, God essence, God spark, the God gateway. And I'm talking far beyond any religious connotations, even spiritual. I'm talking source, all that is. We are creator creating. And we're returning to that and embodying that in a physicality which has never been done before. Becoming aware while we're in physical. And that's why we're going through so much. The body has to detox, the mind has to detox, the heart has to detox, everything has to clear and let go. So continue being gentle and loving. Remember, all the old must die. And so yes, I got to die big time a few days ago. And on the other side is greater lightness in my being. And more non-attachment more freedom, more neutrality, more balance, more peace. It's a reset and everything must be reset for us to return. So however many more times this has to occur, it will. Whatever needs to happen will, whatever is just is, and all is perfect at the highest levels for all involved including me, no matter what the human thinks, that's just the truth, because it just is. And when there's no judgments about it being good or bad, when there's pure neutrality, there's nothing more to say, it just exists, it just is, it just is happening. That's the purity we're returning to, plus clearing all these inversions and distortions and implants and all kinds of things that made it impossible here for truly us to be ourself. So that we'll, we will return to bliss, ecstasy, unity, wonder, joy, fun, innocence, play, silliness, goofiness, laughter, and being our true cosmic creator. <sighs> so keep going. Happy equinox. It feels like this is going to be a biggie for those of us on the journey for decades. This is, this feels like the big one that, you know, it's obvious things will never be the same anyway. However, this feels like that quantum catapult but again no attachment <laughs> it just is and tomorrow for those of you who are into the numerology or numbers it's the second nine nine gateway it's a uh, nine eighteen and one plus eight is nine 
so that's usually quite powerful as well but ultimately every moment is powerful every day is powerful we're moving out of time as well so just know thyself see thyself be kind to thyself be gentle with thyself and love thyself as best as you can we're always doing our best whether we know it or not. Because let's be honest, if we could do better, we would, quote unquote. You know, there is no doing better, or doing worse, but from the human perspective, there is. We would make it easier on ourselves and those that we love or those that we affect. So we're obviously doing the best that we can. And there's no comparitis. This is a play here. There are experiences that are required for the soul to expand or desired. That's the design, the soul divine design. So that just needs to play out, man. And there's no judgment like, oh, this person did this to me or I did this to that person or you know, I should have done better. No, that just keeps us looping. So just know... <laughs> It's hard to really speak words I wow just know I love you just know you are love you are everything and just feel that in your heart in your being in all your cells accept that receive it ah <sighs> let's breathe into that and let's carry on let's carry on see you on the other side <clears throat> lots of clearing of the throat chakra <laughs> oh all right so much love